episode, yes, finally, finally, finally! So of course we are back with another Pokemon video. I'm super excited to get into this episode. I saw a little bit of the ending. I'm so sorry guys, but just get prepared for the video. I saw this episode, I like it so much. I'm ready to review it. Um, so of course, again, uh, we got a, a lot to go over, so... Yeah, I didn't expect it. This would be this good. I guess I feel like it's kind of the first part. I feel like it's mainly kind of a repeat of the previous Garlic Galio Farfetch episode. But kind of except not the last one, but the, the couple ones before that. Before you know, I just wanted to fully understand how I wanted to come like a leak master, leak master with this you know, sort of like that. So yeah. Um, plus last episode we, we was kind of really obvious what was going to happen this episode. Now it kind of doesn't make sense. Like the path is kind of going down for Galio Farfetch storyline. It's cool, but I feel like after this we don't really need another episode. Maybe one more. But that's it, then again, the consumer we don't really need any more after this, so... I mean, in my opinion, though, again, I would just flick over the video, so yeah. The first part of the big, um, video right here, just a kind of recap thing right here for, like, all the, um, Ashes of Wind stuff like that. And it's full class, so we got Dragonfish, it's officially on there now. So yeah, Dragonite, Gengar, uh, Lucario, um, they're all on there, of course, in the background. I was like, oh my gosh, yo, that's kind of nice, though, so yeah. Um, I might start adding an Ash team, even though we have not seen it battle just yet. But we'll go get the opportunity to shine in the future, because again, we actually like, six Pokemon. They usually don't get that much shine. Until like a little bit later though, but whatever's the case. So, of course, the episode starts out, of course, with Galio Farfetch. Um, Ash Farfetch, of course, training. I'll say Farfetch because I'm not, I mean, I would say Galio Farfetch, but I'm gonna be saying that all day. Of course, him and Sizzle are, of course, training up because we got Grookey right there with Go. So, yeah, Go did catch all the stars though for his series, which I kind of do like though. Of course, we got Sizzle, um, you know, um, goes for like first time, one of the first times he's using Sizzle. And of course, we got um, Farfetch, of course, they're battling back and forth. So, all that training, of course, I'm super excited for me. Um, they're training in Kalo, so of course, they're gonna keep going and going as long as they feel like it. Um, then, of course, all the Pokemon much after surrounding with stuff like that, you know, kind of something like, yeah, Dave's great and stuff like that, but of course, Farfetch is super excited to, um, you know, go on an adventure, um, so yeah, because everybody's super excited, everybody's ready to go, of course, of course, Scooby's on Pikachu's back, and he doesn't actually kind of mind, though, so yeah, I kind of just noticed that a little bit, I guess I'm just starting to kind of get used to Grookey now, because then the last episode I just reviewed a couple of days ago, at times recording, again, I'm going to upload all these videos, I have no idea when, because it's just, I guess, I upload so much, it's like, I had to get like a dedicated week to upload all these, because I have like, weeks worth of videos ready to go for this, like, I have every video ready to go, except the group doing one at, at the time of recording, so, um, I'll get that done probably in a couple more days, because again, I, I have like, what, I think, no, actually, I think I've only three videos, I believe? Um, had to um convert to 60, so yeah, because we see kind of like a root kind of come out of the ground and stuff like that. And of course, it goes up to Bell Sprout. Then, um, they're kind of just confused by it for the first time. Of course, Grookey um uses like its um not ability, but I think he uses like his drum kind of stick to kind of calm it down or boom up the flowers like he usually did, or just make it super happy. Kind of lowers defense. Then, of course, um, yeah, it starts to make it feel great. And, yeah, so like, kind of lowers defense. And then, of course, Grookey gets the idea to um give Ghost Pokeball, which I kind of saw a little bit beforehand right here. So I was like, okay, that's kind of cool though. Grookey's kind of setting up it for him to catch it. I kind of do like that though, you know, giving him some support. Of course, um, Go catches the bell sprout, so yeah. Hey, 69! Nice. Um, I kind of like the teamwork they kind of have, though, a little bit, though. I kind of like that, though, a little bit. You know, Goku lowers his defense, using the flowers, of course. Then, you know, can Go catches it and stuff like that, of course. And he gets Pokemon Center to heal up afterwards. Then, of course, um, Farfetch is ready to battle and stuff like that, of course. So, yeah. Then, I start to search for, um, opponent from the, um, Pokemon, of course, you know, War Tournament or Championship. Um, well, of course, Ren 2 comes back. So, yeah, Ren 10, Ren 2, where I, you know, call it. I call him Ren 10. Um, yeah, I really would just call him Ren at this point. But yeah, of course, um, Ash actually finds him right there. So yeah, he's literally in the same Pokemon Center at the same time. Yeah, you'll see him in the same place at the same time. So, so of course, um, they start to, um, of course, they start to talk about the, of course, how Galileo, how Farfetch kind of, um, I'll just, I'll just say it anyway. I don't care. Galileo Farfetch. Um, of course, you know, it's a guy stronger. You know, the bond between them, they're both simple. And, um, the bond between Ash and Go, uh, Ash and Omar. <laughs> the bond between Ash and Go is really solid. Okay, okay. okay. Um, between um, Ash and Galia, Farfetch has gotten a little bit stronger. Of course, even Go explains that they went to Carlos. You know, they trained up and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, of course, I feel like the bones gonna be a lot stronger now. Of course, you know, since um, he will see uh, since Rin now he wants to see him. The result of the training kind of come to um, tuition slash light. Of course, so of course they accept the battle and go on. I mean, it makes sense though now because you know they've gotten way stronger and stuff like that. And of course, you know, Go has Ash back in this um, argument. So of course, they say I'm starting. Uh, has um, start to kind of gear up and start the battle. Of course, to see how much experience has grown and stuff like that. I really want to see you know, how Glade's gonna handle it though. Of course we already know it's gonna be super sharp and stuff like that of course. And of course I have um Bells with Galia Farfetch just look like it seems like it's ready um burning ready to go. Like it usually always is. I cannot wait for the English dub for this though. I think it's already out the first episode I think I believe it's already out for this. Um the one I reviewed last time with the Gurdy or stuff like that the first time they went um read to um and that's one of with Galia Farfetch so yeah of course I start the battle off and go on. Um like you and um usually of course um 
Farfetch'd and um, Glade are ready to go, just of course Farfetch builds up the first move, and the Glade starts to come, kind of block it back and forth and stuff like that, of course. Then actually the first slash literally destroys, like just burns up his leak right there, so the top half of his leak, which is kind of setting up for the rest of this episode, which kind of does make sense, this is kind of like half of the episode. Again, a lot of points from the last um, couple episodes kind of build up to this, which I kind of get, like I feel like you should watch those episodes to see this one. It kind of does make sense now, like all the stuff, I kind of see it now, so of course I actually kind of get a little bit worried. Of course Farfetch'd doesn't really know, it's just want to keep going, then of course I ran into, of course has um, strategy in his head already, so of course, you know, it goes like what's asking you kind of next. Um, then of course, they just start going back and forth and back and forth, of course, slashing and stuff like that, of course. Then, like, literally, Glade just slashes Leak, like, in half. Like, and this is a, so, like, some of the parts, this is the first, so first half of the episode, by the way, so again. Yeah. Of course, we get the second half of the Pokemon and stuff like that. And then, of course, he literally just slashes Leak in half, which just kind of symbolizes how strong it was. And, of course, Farfetch literally just loses, like, all the soap and stuff, um, you know. It literally gets, like, a magic attack, like, like, bro, seriously, I was like, yo, this is insane, like, what were they thinking with this? Like, yo, so, um, yeah. I got started out like that. Of course, Pikachu and Go are kind of sad about it, though. Of course, even Ashes as well. But of course, Aslan, I'm um, kind of focused to calm down, kind of work with what they have and stuff like that. Of course, you know their bond is a lot stronger than it was before. Of course, Brent too. Cause it's like this one is kind of. I feel like it's kind of mainly testing Ash in this episode. They kind of be like, okay, uh, what is it actually going to do next with um Farfetch? So of course, Farfetch kind of a little bit freaked out about it. Of course, um, you know, actually all the has to kind of kind of motivate it. Like, okay, if I lose my hat, maybe it'll help out Farfetch a little bit because it looked like it gets slashed half. Of course, he's not freaking utterly out. And of course, um, you know. I, I, I Pikachu and Go and Group draw like what? Go I kinda get though. Um the Pikachu was kinda confused. I feel like he should have kind of uh, though, but yeah. Of course Ash of course takes off his hat so you know he can give Group some encouragement. Of course then they go with flashback back to, then they flash back back to the training that they did in Kahlo. So of course well, they just lash in um I forget his name. I forgot the um the, I forgot his name though for the um Elite Four member, I can't remember his name for me. So yeah, of course um they get the idea of course um use a sword and shield, like literally I just slash um heads like a like and that's proud mode, that's shield mode, that of course um has a sword version of it. And then of course um Farfetch um and Ash kinda get the idea, of course use um the um his leak has got cut in half, so it gets the idea of course picking up the um the um first half of his leak and of course making it into a sword. So yeah, we already know what this episode's setting up for. And of course Glade, I think uses Night Slash, of course um Red 2's kinda so completely surprised about it. Of course Pikachu and Ash of course always have um Gallic Farfetch's back, of course they, again this episode just is amazing. I don't know what they were thinking, that was great. Then of course he took them in the air, tried to um, go for a counterattack in the air, and of course Glaze um, really just um, flings it back and forth and back and forth. Then of course, um, I think it gets caught in the wind current, I believe, so yeah, then of course it gets blown back um, with Dash and stuff like that, of course, and Glade, um, Glade blows back, um, blows, um, uh, Farfetch back, of course, Pikachu's worried, goes up to Ash, and, um, Gallia Farfetch, of course, his leak, um, still sees it kind of messed up, still kind of worried about it, though, um, look, like he's still kind of worried about it, slash that about it, though, of course, Ash doesn't really kind of know what to do in the situation, of course, Rin 2, again, I feel like he's mainly just testing them to see where they're at and stuff like that, then, of course, um, Rotom, the, um, Air Rotom, boy, that doesn't want to keep going on, of course, Ghost kind of, kind of be surprised, like, the Rotom's like, dude, sure you want to quit, and then, of course, Ash, you know, like, ain't gonna, like, you already know Ash, she's not gonna give up, of course, Rin 2 still, again, I felt like mainly testing him. Um, then, of course, you know, Farfetch, like, gets back up, it's like, yeah, but he ain't done yet. There's, like, hair right there. There's, like, seeing hair, but yeah. Of course, Farfetch, of course, Nash do both leave each other, of course. Then, of course, he uses Leak, of course, in the back, and, of course, um, his first part of that kind of cut off, uses it, uses it as a sword, so, as a shield. Of course, he uses Leak as a sword, so, yeah. Sword and shield, A. So, of course, Glade tries to, um, go in, of course, Farfetch, um, start to, um, you know, get his, um, lean way back up, kind of, so, um, yeah. Then, of course, Farfetch, and, uh, and of course, um, Glade are just, um, swapping hands back and forth, of course, his leak is starting to get messed up more and more and more as they battle, then, of course, um, which kind of does make sense, because, uh, okay, yeah, I know what happens, so, yeah. Of course, Go, um, Rin 2, of course, Go, Rin 2, and Ash are all kind of completely surprised about it, and then, of course, um, yeah, I know it's about to happen next, but it utterly shocked me when I first saw it. Like, I saw it in the preview, I was like, wait a minute! Wait a freaking minute! They weren't joking! Like, what the heck? Um, so, yeah. Farfetch really has a blue light around it, of course, it evolves into, um, Surfetch, of course, so, yeah. Oh, I like the Pokemon Go app right there. I like that, though. I like that. I just kind of saw that. So, yeah, of course, Surfetch evolves. Of course, Ash Pikachu is always super excited about it. Of course, Ren 2 is like, he's kind of proud of, like, with their progress. But, like, this is the progress. Everything that led up to this makes sense now. So, of course, they start to um, go back and forth. Glitz, completely, honestly, just, you know, shocked about it, of course. You know, he's, um, just literally got like far, far surf, Surfetch actually just fools on, like, <laughs> your wind current. Sorry, buddy. You're done. So, yeah, of course, Ren 2 is completely surprised about it. And, of course, Glade is as well. Of course, Glade's starting to get fired up a little bit more than, of course, Farfetch will a new move, which I do not completely know. I think it's a new Gallier move. I can't remember though. I think I know it had, had, had 
I think, three crit hits when you do this, I believe. Um, when four pitches evolve, so I kind of like how they put that in the anime a little bit, though. Um, so yeah, of course, um, this is the result of the training and stuff like that. I think he uses Brutal Swing. I think he's um, his master there, or using that Slash. I love that little back, like, air right there. Yeah, it looks like it's just going full on Beyblade move right there. I kind of like this, though, right here. So, of course, I think um, Glade's movie um, turns up into its own, of course. Then, of course, literally, it just slashes it, like, twice, and Glade's already down, so yeah. Of course, oh, the booties in the air. Okay, so yeah. Of course, Ash and um, Surfetch actually win the match, stuff like that. Really cool, really solid though. Of course, Ash brings goes up in the World Championship or the World League. And of course, um, Rin is really excited, and of course, Clay just, well, Clay's, you know, kind of a little bit salty. Right? But of course, Rin is really happy that Ash and um, Farfetch is, um, you know, training paid off, all the, everything that they went to kind of led to this moment. And of course, then of course, Ash and um, Rin kind of respect each other a little bit more now. Then of course, Go and Ash reflect going back on what happened um, today, um, which actually really solid though. I actually do like this episode. It's actually really cool though, of course. Then in Farfetch, of course, it's going to be super happy now that it evolved it's happy it's stronger so of course we don't know what's good you know and hope for the future so yeah. then the episode kind of ends there i know it went a little bit too fast though but i'm sorry i got so excited like you know i saw a pokemon list like right there for the episode because i show up the pokemon they have i was like yo seriously what were they thinking like oh my god i was like wait a minute that went to the end of the episode kind of looked um, pictures and stuff like that i'm like yo like seriously what the heck i was like just Ugly fabric, fabric guys. Like, I don't know what they were doing. I don't know what they were thinking. It was all I'm saying. I love the episode. I love how Ash, everything really Ash and uh, Farfetch went through, Galia Farfetch went through, paid off to this. Like, I'm glad. Like, everything that they did, learned from Age of Slash, like, from the beginning to end, all did work out. I feel like it was kind of a little bit rushed in these last couple episodes. I mean, not a little bit rushed, but I feel like it was. I feel like, again, they were kind of building up to this as Starfetch. Because I feel like. I just, we don't really need another episode, maybe one more episode, because this is like, this is like the, what, the third, fourth episode already, which a lot of Pokemon do get a kind of story arc though, but um, with Dash, we got a lot of story arcs in this episode, so yeah. But actually, it's really good though, honestly, I did like it though, so yeah. I think I went a little bit too fast, but I was really, really excited, I'm so sorry, it was so good! Um, yeah though, it was actually really good though, of course, um, I'm out of breath already right now, so I just am going to probably go record a song for the accident, so probably, I might actually go record a song for the after this, so yeah. Really excited, really happy. I'll try to upload this video as soon as I can, though. But yeah, the episode was great. I loved it. Everything that we went through, both for Ash and Farfetch again. Beautiful, perfect. I love how Rentu came back to test them out both. Then, of course, um, again, everything that they literally learned from everything, Carlos, um, from the beginning to end, all did what, what went all into this battle. Like, everything that literally went to went through, like, like, everything went into this battle. And the, all that progress and training and pain, all that did show off and worked it. Again, Farfetch was messed up. And then it's like, okay, I'm gonna come back, evolve, use the leak as a sword, um, use my end of the first part of my leak as a shield, use my other part as a sword, which I did like that. And they were kind of setting up, though. Of course, it meets a blue light, and of course, it evolves. Yes, yes, yes. See you guys later, though. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day. Good luck. All good day. You know, stay safe. Wash your hands. God bless all of you. Everything's going up. Put your mask. Because it's a little but yeah, so what do you guys think about the episode? Do you like it? Do you hate it? I loved it beginning to end. It was great. It was awesome. I liked it. It was just good. It was, again, no words. It was all beautiful. I love the episode. I'm glad I reviewed it this time around. So yeah, see you guys later. Let us know. Peace out.